Welcome back. Today we are going to be doing the second mold out of the 100 mold project, which will be a jar. This jar will be the first time that I am doing any detail on the fourth axis with the mill other than tax. So first up is going to be determining both the best toolpath, vertical or horizontal, and also the density of those passes. First up, I just wanted to do some simulations to determine where I wanted to start, either horizontal or vertical. I do suspect at this point that these were not going to be close enough, but I just wanted to see what the result was going to be before I really took the machining time to do, a, do them closer. In the end, I decided to do a horizontal pass first because it felt like that would probably render a better result. I used a wax blank scrap that I had uh, laying around to do the first test. This is a machinable wax I use when I'm unsure on how to do something. I can take these and remelt them when I'm done with them and it saves a little heartache when I ruin something. As I said before, this was just a wild guess on how and how close I need to make these passes. It's actually a cool texture, but not the intended outcome for this jar. What I did learn was when I do horizontal passes for the jar, afterwards the axis has to unwind itself completely. You can see the degree value it was unwinding from at this point, and it just kept going and going and going. At this point, I thought if I did the passes any closer, I didn't want to have to deal with the unwinding if I did that many. It really did actually take a while, so I decided on the next passes to go with the vertical pass. And it is finally done. I wanted to share a close-up of this because I actually really liked how it turned out. Um, I'm going to kind of keep this in my back pocket for other another project in the future. The next result is closer to a smooth surface. It was back to the drawing board to figure out how close I need to go to get a smooth surface finish though. I am also concerned with the time it's going to take, so you can see me adjusting the spacing and seeing the machining time that it's going to be. These are some very close passes here, and it would take about three and a half hours. That was a no-go for testing, so I tried to find something that was going to be under an hour.
here are the results from the next test. This version, if you zoom in a little bit on the screen, you can still see some markings, so I wanted to see if I could get it even better. And here's the finished product for the test. At this point, you can't really feel anything. You can sort of see a little bit of marking on the bottom half of the jar, but I was pretty satisfied with this, so I decided to move on to the machining the mother mold. And because I had already done all the testing on this, this was pretty easy and simple, straightforward. I was able to just do it in one pass.